Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x to the power of 6, this is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have x to the power of 6, this is equal to 5 to the power of 6. The first step is to take 5 to the power of 6 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 6 subtract 5 to the power of 6 this is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 which is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that you can write as a plus b, a minus b. From this equation, we have that a is equal to x to the power of 3 and b is equal to 5 to the power of 3. So we have that a plus b, this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. We have that a minus b, this is equal to x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's start with equation 1. You can call this one case 1, such that we have x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. We have that this is the sum of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a plus b. Then here we have a squared minus ab, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then here we have x plus 5. Then here we have x squared minus 5x, then plus 5 squared, which is 25, then this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 5. This is equal to 0. And the second part is x squared minus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 5. The second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to minus 5, and the c is equal to 25. So we can solve for x2, comma x3 by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything here parent by 2 times a. So here we have minus minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 25. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 5, this is 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, this is 100, everything here divided by 2. So here we have, this is 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75 divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 5 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 75. This is the same thing as 25 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. Now, here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3 then divided by 2. So this implies that here we have that x2 is equal to 
this is 5 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. This is x2, and we have that x3 is equal to 5 subtract 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now in case 2 we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. This is a squared plus ab then plus b squared. So here we have x minus 5 multiplying by, here we have x squared then plus 5 times x which is 5x then plus 5 squared which is 25. This is equal to 0. So this implies we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 5. This is equal to 0. And we have x squared plus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x4 is equal to 5. So we can solve for the x5 and x6 from this quadratic equation with a here equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and that c is equal to 25. So this implies that x5 comma x6, we apply the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. So substituting the values of a, b, and c, we have a minus 5 plus or minus the square root of, this is 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 25. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, this is 100, everything here divided by 2. So again here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75 divided by 2. We can express the square root of minus 75, this is the same thing as 25, multiplied by 3, multiplied by minus 1, divided by 2. And this implies again here, we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. Now we have that x5, x6, this is minus 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. So in total we have six solutions. We have six solutions to this exponential problem. We have that x1 is equal to minus 5. We have that x2 comma x3 this is equal to 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 then we have that x4 this is equal to 5 and lastly we have that x5 comma x6 this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 so this implies that we have we have four complex solutions four complex solutions these are two complex solution and two so making a total of four and we have two real solutions here so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please
like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.